What's going on guys, my name is Blake and today I'm going to show you how to correctly import slow motion footage into Adobe Premiere. Using slow motion footage is very popular lately. With all the travel videos and vlogs and montages and that kind of thing, slow motion can make something look super cinematic. Everything looks cooler in slow motion. Case in point. You probably understand the basics of slow motion. Filming something at a higher frame rate than you're going to edit in will let you play it back slower. That's basically it. So kind of anything above 60 frames a second is gonna work for this. Obviously the higher the frame rate, the slower you can play it back. I'm gonna assume most people are editing their timelines in either 24 frames per second or 30 frames a second. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna use 24 frames a second. Uh, that's what I edit in most of the time. It produces a, a pretty like movie-like cinematic look. It's been pretty popular in recent years um, in the YouTube community. Another reason why I wanted to do this tutorial is that it's something that for a long time I did wrong. Um, and my beginnings as a filmmaker and editor and that kind of thing. We'll get into it in the tutorial, but I was importing the footage and using it incorrectly and not really utilizing those extra frames that I specifically went out and shot in to get the slow motion. Let's get right into the tutorial. So welcome to the tutorial section of the video. I actually filmed this whole thing already, uh, but right at the end realized that I was not recording my screen. So here I am back for round two. So I set up my project, empty project here. Uh, I got one sequence that is, let's see, a 1920 by 1080 sequence. It's 24 frames a second, technically 23.976. We're gonna import some footage from a trip I took about a year ago to Alaska with my dad and my brother. Very fun trip. Uh, it was a fishing trip that we went on. Here's a clip of me chopping wood, one of the most manly things that you can do. Um, let's see, right there. Play it back, bam, chop the wood. Um, so I'm gonna put an out point there, go back to where I started, put an in point, and we're gonna drop this 60 frame per second footage, 59.94, uh, in this 24 frame per second timeline. Um, we're gonna keep the existing settings, keep that 24 frames a second, um, and let's play back the clip. As you can see, obviously not in slow motion. Um, so what we did, we dropped 60 frames a second into a 24 frame per second timeline. And the way that, that um, Premiere interprets that is called frame sampling, where you're adding and dropping frames to conform your clip to the timeline that you're editing in. So it started with 60 frames and we drop it into a timeline and Premiere is gonna remove 60% of its frames to be able to fit it in that 24 frame per second slot that it has. If you intended to shoot this high frame rate of 60 to give yourself slow motion, it was wasted doing it this way. Like I said, this is something that I used to do, made the mistake doing for a while, but there's a better way to do it. So we're gonna delete that out of there. Uh, we're gonna go up to our clip, right click and go to modify interpret footage. Uh, we're going to assume a new frame rate of 23.976, what we're editing in. Um, you can go ahead and click OK. Now this clip is 23.976. What we did was we tricked the computer into thinking, you know what, why don't you play these frames back at 23.976 frames a second. Um, if you had any in and out points on your clip, it's going to mess those up a bit. So I'm going to go find this clip again, go to in point here chopped it out point super manly now we grab our clip put it into the timeline now when you play it back we get that nice natural smooth slow motion clip so all we did was we told the computer you know what play those frames back a little bit slower than you shot them in so that's pretty much it uh, that gives you this nice real slow motion when you're where, where you're not adding or dropping any frames now the one problem that you might encounter is that if there's any dialogue, this uh, process is going to um, give you a little bit of a speed bump. Uh, I'm going to open a different clip that I think there's some dialogue in. Um, like I said, another 60 frame per second clip. 
somewhere in around here, my dad is talking. Here's my brother chopping some wood here. My dad's walking this way, and I think he says something to my brother here. You're not gonna be able to pass tomorrow. But we were on a fishing trip, and Tristan's chopping a whole bunch of wood, and my dad says, your arms are gonna be too tired. You're not gonna be able to cast tomorrow. We're gonna go ahead and modify this again. Modify, interpret footage, change it to 23.976. So now, let's find that clip of him walking again. So he's walking from here. Let's put an in point. He's walking out of the frame. He's talking for a second. We're putting an out point. So when we bring this in our timeline, it's going to be slow motion again. Here's this nice slow motion here. But as soon as he starts talking, it's, it's you know, not as we intended to hear it. So we need to speed that footage back up so that you can hear it again. How much do you speed it up though? Um, I came up with a quick, easy equation, which I'm sure many have come up with before. When you do this modify interpret process, here's the equation to get your footage back to the speed that you shot it at. You take the frame rate that you shot it at, divide it by the frame rate that your timeline is and multiply it by 100. So in this case, it's 60 frames a second divided by 24, which is 2.5, multiply that by 100. 250%. So if we click on this this file, we do the speed, we go 250, hit enter, we should hear the audio normally, how it was intended to be heard. You're not going to be able to cast tomorrow. Boom. Now, this is really useful in vlogs and stuff like that. A lot of times I'll shoot in 60 frames a second just to give myself the ability to do some slow motion stuff later in, in post-production, in editing. So let's bring this over here and extend this out to where Tristan chops some wood. And if I was editing a vlog, maybe uh, there's somebody talking and ooh, I wanna do some slow motion of him chopping right here. And then I wanna go back to the fast motion and some talking right here. You're not gonna be able to. We're gonna slow this part down. Let's go speed duration and go 100. Uh, which is what the computer thinks is full speed. It's actually more like 40% uh, Since we did that modify interpret process Go ahead and hit enter It's gonna ripple edit this out and now when I play it back Nice nice smooth buttery slow motion the way that it was intended to be used. There's no adding or dropping frames and you get to utilize those frames as you intended when you shot it in slow motion. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, it was a pretty quick tip. Something like this though on the front end of your project is gonna go a long way in that slow motion stuff, get you to utilize those extra frames uh, and get true slow motion in your footage. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe. There's gonna be a whole lot more of them. I got some traveling coming up, so there's gonna be some vlogs, some travel stuff uh, and a whole lot more to come. Thanks for watching.